don't see where you could get one of those. Apart from the model downstairs, I don't think he kept a lot of souvenirs of the time when he built the crystal. Would you mind if I had a look? Of course not. Here, take this. It'll let you look at the model close up. So, Steiner had the time to finish the prosthesis. Perfect. Tools that would have suited Hans. An ignition key. But it looks far too small for the crystal.
It looks like it worked. Don't worry. As soon as Grandfather gets back here with Kirk, I'll tell them to join you straight away on the crystal. Fantastic, Kate. I have to admit, you really know how to get things done. Thank you, Captain. Are there any other preparations to carry out? There's just one last problem to solve. The locks we need to use to get out onto the lake. They're shut by order of the Town Hall. You have to find some way to get them open. What do you suggest? The best thing to do is to ask Mayor Bulyakin for the authorization to reopen them. But just to give you fair warning, he's about as straight as a crooked water spout. So you mind him. Or you could just get a hold of some explosives and then... Kaboom! Hmm. First, I'll try talking to the mayor. Thanks, Captain. Watch out for Mayor Bulyakin. My dear friends, keep calm. Please, keep calm. I beg of you. We'll calm down when we get what we want. Yeah, Nomad's out. Kick the Yukels out right now, or the strike will get worse. I know just what you mean, my dear friends, and... It's all words. We want action. Listen, my dear friends, I'm ready to work with you to find solutions to your very legitimate concerns. And starting tomorrow, I'll receive your delegation. Yeah, you better. And don't try outsmarting us, Bulyakin. Just trust me and you will see. Come back tomorrow and together we'll find an honorable way out of this crisis. Mr. Mayor? Yes? What now? I need to get straight to the point. This man is a politician. Flattery should do the trick. Well then, what is it? Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Please forgive me for intruding like this without an appointment at all, but I'd just like to start off by saying thank you for your time. I know how precious it is. You are completely forgiven, my dear lady. How can I help? Do you think it would be possible to open the locks in the port? Hmm. I beg your pardon? Did you say the locks? What on earth for? May as well lay my cards on the table. The mayor might be glad if I get rid of the Yukels. I'm listening, dear lady. Given the reputation the Yukels have in town, I shouldn't say that they're the reason I want the port locks open. I'm actually accompanying the Yukel tribe on their long journey right now, Mr. Mayor. I've asked Captain Obo if he would take us to the other side of the lake on the crystal to now dusk. Oh, Captain Obo, the crystal, the Yukels, do go on. Anyway, it would be very ungracious of me if I were to criticize you for removing that burden from our good town. Nonetheless, I'm afraid I must refuse your request, dear lady. The locks will remain closed until further notice. This decision came from above, you understand?
If I tell him to pin the blame for the departure of the Yukels on me, he'll make the people happy and he won't have any problems with his higher-ups. I would be grateful if you would answer, please. Listen, Mr. Mayor. You and I both know that the real problem is that you want to keep your voters' support without ticking off your superiors. And I might just be able to help you. Really? And exactly how might that be? Open the locks and I'll leave with the Yukels. Then you just have to tell the authorities that I committed some kind of sabotage. They'll gladly believe you. I have a very bad reputation, you know. And that way, you'll come out smelling like a rose. Hmm. Well, I have to admit, dear lady, that your arguments have convinced me. I am authorizing you to open the port locks so the crystal can leave. Nonetheless, you should know that there is a technical problem that means the locks have to be opened manually. I imagine that such an inconvenience isn't likely to deter a woman as determined and resourceful as you. Do you mean that? Yes, as the local technician is absent, I'm afraid you'll have to delve into the murky waters yourself to open the locks. Nonetheless, this should help you use the underwater mechanism. But how am I supposed to dive? That, dear lady, is your problem, I suppose. Do have an excellent day. Well? The mayor gave us authorization to open the locks, but I have to do it manually, by diving down into the port. Huh. I can probably help. There should still be some old diving equipment you can use in that shed at the end of the seawall. I've never gone diving. But if you think I'll be fine down there, I don't mind trying. This has to stay between the two of us, Kate. There's something you need to know about the locks. They're also there to stop the lake monster from entering the port. Anyway, that's what I heard. But at this time of day, there's no risk. That spawn of hell sleeps all day. Where's a suit I can use? Meet me in the shed at the far end of the seawall. There should be something just about your size. I mean, near enough, anyway. Do you really believe there's a monster down there in that lake? You know, 20 years ago, it really wasn't Baranor that I was afraid of. Not the deaths, the radiation. That's what people say, but the truth is that it was actually that damn monster that made me scoot away like a minnow. It was lurking around Paranor, drawn by the stench of the graves, probably. I saw its red eyes staring at me, Miss Walker. That's something you never forget. Underwater? How am I supposed to open the lock gates? They're kept in place with some kind of steel locks. Just try and pull them out using their mechanism. <laughs> 